Welcome to my channel travel guide. Airbus A330 Neo V's Boeing 7879 Which plane is best? The Airbus A330 Neo and Boeing 7879 are two of the most advanced and efficient widebody twin-engine airliners available today. Both offer airlines excellent performance, range, passenger comfort and operating economics on medium to long-haul routes. But which one is the better overall aircraft? Let's compare them side by side in several key areas. Size and capacity, the 787-9 is slightly longer, with a length of 206 feet 1 in, 62.8 meters, compared to 193 feet 7 in, 59.0 meters, for the A330-900 Neo. The 787-9 has a wingspan of 197 feet 3 in, 60.1 meters, while the A330neo's wingspan is 210 feet, 64 meters. In a typical three-class configuration, the A330-900neo seats about 287 passengers, 140 more than the smaller A330-800neo variant. The 787-9 carries around 296 passengers in a three-class layout, giving it a slight edge. However, both planes' seating capacity heavily depends on the airline's configuration. Both aircraft have spacious cabins with wide seats and aisles. The 787's cabin is slightly wider at 18 feet 0 in, 5.49 meters, compared to the A330 Neo's 17 feet 5 in, 5.31 meters. However, the A330 Neo compensates with a higher cabin, providing more headroom. Range and performance, the 787-9 flies slightly further, with a maximum range of 7,635 nmi km, compared to 7,200 nmi km, for the A330-900 Neo. This gives the 787-9 an advantage on the longest routes. Both airliners have excellent takeoff and landing performance, even on shorter runways. The 787-9 needs about 9,300 feet 2, meters, for takeoff, while the A330neo requires around 8,850 feet 2, meters, allowing it to access more airports. The 787-9 has a higher maximum takeoff weight MTOW, of 560,000 pounds 254,011 kilograms, compared to 533,500 pounds, 242,000 kilograms, for the A330-900 Neo. But in terms of maximum payload, the planes are very close 90,000 pounds, 40,823 kilograms, for the 787-9 and 88,250 pounds, 40,000 kilograms, for the A330 Neo. Efficiency and Environmental Impact A key selling point for both aircraft is superb fuel efficiency. The 787 was the first airliner built primarily from lightweight composite materials, while over 25% of the A330neo is composites. Both also utilize advanced engines. The 787-9 is powered by either General Electric GE NX-1B or Rolls-Royce Trent 1000 turbofans. The A330neo uses the newer Rolls-Royce Trent 7000 engine. All of these engines offer great fuel economy. On a per-seat basis, the planes have very similar fuel burn. The 787-9 consumes about 2.26 liters per seat per 100 kilometers, while the A330-900 burns around 2.29 L seat 100 kilometers. This superb efficiency significantly reduces fuel costs and emissions compared to previous generation aircraft they are replacing like the Boeing 767 and older A330 variants. With lower fuel burn comes reduced carbon dioxide emissions. Both airliners meet the latest ICAO emission standards and offer a lower carbon footprint compared to the aircraft they succeed. This will help airlines meet sustainability goals. Passenger Experience for passengers, both the A330neo and 787-9 provide a very comfortable flight experience. Cabin air is less dry thanks to higher humidity levels. 
composite fuselages allow higher pressure to be maintained, reducing fatigue. Noise levels are lower and turbulence is dampened for a smoother ride. Customers enjoy the LED mood lighting, large overhead bins, wide seats and aisles, and the latest in-flight entertainment systems featured on both aircraft types. Airlines can configure the cabins of both aircraft to their liking, including lie flat seats in business class on longer routes. The 787's cabin windows are noticeably larger, at 10.7 by 18.4 in 27.2 by 46.7 cm, than the A330neo's windows which measure 9, 4 by 15 in 24 by 38 cm. The 787 uses electrochromic window dimmers rather than physical shades. The Airbus A330neo and Boeing 7879 are both outstanding aircraft well suited for long-haul flying. They offer comparable capacity, range, and efficiency wrapped in cutting-edge, comfortable designs. Airlines can't go wrong with either one. The 787-9 flies a bit further and carries slightly more payload, while the A330-900neo operates well from shorter runways. Fuel efficiency is similar on a per-seat basis. Passenger comfort is excellent on both types. Ultimately, the better choice depends on an airline-specific route network, capacity needs, fleet mix, and negotiated pricing. But the A330neo and 787-9 are two of the most capable and efficient long-haul airliners available today. Hope you like this video please like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching.